You know that feeling of anxiety that creeps in the day before a shoot? Maybe it's a big client, maybe a personal project, it doesn't really matter. We've all been there. And you definitely did your homework. You've been studying the references, you read the script and the treatment a thousand times, and all the lighting setups are planned. And if there's one thing you keep repeating yourself is, everything is gonna be fine. What if it's not going to be fine? What if the lighting setups don't work? Do I even have everything I need? They're going to fire me. They're going to fire me. But what if I tell you that all of this ends right now? I was scrolling through Instagram and I came across some beautiful images of what looked to me like a very realistic 3D render. Needless to say, I was hooked. The lighting simulator. This thing is crazy. Basically, you have a 3D environment where you can pre-visualize lighting setups, camera angles, focal lengths, super easy to use, and most of all, completely customizable. Let's take a look. Okay, so let's have a quick overview of what's possible in the software. When you first open it, you are presented with this. You have your 3D environment on the left and the rendered image on the right, which updates very quickly based on what you do in your working space. Then down here, you have all the items you can use in the scene from models, flashlights, continuous lights, including practicals. Then in the helper section, you have bounce boards, cutters, diffusion frames, and you have props as well. If you click on the camera, you have two modes, a photography mode and a video mode. Let's switch to the video mode by clicking the button here. And let's change the framing to horizontal and the aspect ratio to 16 by nine. Here you have all the settings you would find on your cinema camera. You can change the focal length, you can change the sensor size, and now I'm gonna change the ISO to 400. I'm gonna change the model and I'll delete everything. So I'm gonna delete the backdrop, these two lights. And as you can see now, we have a pitch dark image because nothing is actually illuminating the scene. So I'm gonna drop a light in the scene and in the continuous lights section, we have a variety of lights to choose from, from aperture, ARRI, various LEDs, tube lights, practicals. So let's grab a aperture 600D. So right now we have a single hard source which we can move around to see what type of effect we get on our subject. When you drop a light, it will always point at the subject, but then you can pan it and tilt it as you want, like so. You can adjust the height and then if you want to point it at the subject again, you just need to press this button here. Okay, so let's place it here and we can add a modifier like a softbox and we can even choose how much diffusion we want. So if we want to use only the external layer, only the internal, both and both of them with a grid. So let's choose both the internal and external together, but without the grid. Okay, and let's add another aperture with a smaller softbox, a slimmer one, like this one, as a side light with a grid. Let's reduce the intensity of our key to about here so that the balance between the key and the side light is where I want it to be. And let's add a hard source as a backlight. So we're gonna go for an aperture 120D. We're gonna place it right here and we can also 
remove the stand if we plan to rig it in our actual setup. And here we have a very nice three lights setup and we can move stuff around, solo lights to see what they're doing individually. We can move the camera around and play with different focal lengths. And you're not even bound to simple setups or studio setups. You can very easily build more complex sets as I did here, for example. And if you have the measurements, you can actually create an exact 3D replica of a location, which is really, really cool. And as I was playing around with the software, I realized that apart from being great for planning lighting setups, and if you're a beginner, you can actually understand and learn more about lighting directly from your couch. But even if you are a professional, it can be incredibly useful, not only for planning, but also for storyboarding, for example, and to communicate your ideas better with a client or a director. I mean, I don't know how to draw or any of that. And I created this set in less than 15 minutes, which is crazy. And then once you're done, you can just click export and you can select various different options. You can export the scene only, the 3D environment and the scene, the lighting setup scheme with the scene and the 3D environment. I mean, you have different options based on what you need, which is very cool. Okay, this thing is very cool. You can build very nice lighting setups with it, 3D lighting setups with it, but I know what you're thinking. How does it actually translate to real life? I mean, how much can we trust the software and how closely are the images gonna match in real life? Well, let's find out. So I actually built a 3D replica of my kitchen and I have a three light setup going on, an LED through a small softbox with a grid to mimic my Amaran F21C LED mat and two tube lights, one over here as a side light and one over here as a backlight. I have both the key and the side light set to 2,900 Kelvin and the backlight at 10,000 Kelvin and this is the rendered image. And this is the same setup brought to real life and as you can see, we are there. For my key light, as I said, I use an Amaran F21C with a grid, so slightly slimmer than the softbox I used in the software, but I kept the placement the same, same camera settings. The only thing I did was playing with the intensities of the lights to match the image to the reference, and I have to admit, I didn't even try as hard because I think it would defeat the purpose of the software, and I have to say, it's there, and it's pretty incredible. I mean, the way the light falls on the subject is the same, so yeah, pretty reliable. So is it actually matching 100% in every single scenario? Probably not. I mean, from what I tested, it's pretty darn close, but it doesn't have all the lighting fixtures on the market. So if you have an equivalent or similar light, you probably need to tweak it a little bit. Also, I noticed that if you bounce the light off of a white wall in the software, you don't get quite as much bounce back compared to real life. So the image would be rendered a little bit more contrasty. But apart from that, I think it's an amazing piece of software. It can save you a lot of time. It will certainly help you communicate more clearly and efficiently with a client or with a director. And at the end of the day, I believe it will save you quite a few sleepless nights. This was all for today. And uh, if you liked this video, please like, share and subscribe. And until next time, bye.